Yo, how's it guys? Welcome back. There's someone I'd like you to meet. We got a little Minato. Wanna say hi? So on this dive, this was the second dive of the year since coming back from Oahu. And me and a few buddies decided to go out to a favorite dive spot of ours. Of course though, like most things, nothing went according to plan. It became a struggle bus just to find fish. Let's dive into the video and see what happened. So this is right when we jumped in. I had my gun attached to the float, which I tossed into the water prior to jumping in. And I noticed a taco right off the bat. Since my gun was a little ways, not far, but far enough to make me not want to swim to the float to retrieve my gun. And I decided I'm gonna challenge this taco and try to grab it with my small puny knife. Afterwards, we proceeded to the next spot in hopes to find ukus or yellow spots. After a little while, a bunch of Opelukala come in, but I decide not to take one yet and try to wait to see if something else comes in. I pushed out a little deeper to 62 feet in hopes to finding better fish. But once again, these okay size Okalukala come in and I give them the pass once again. So after not seeing our targeted fish, um, we swam a ways down the coast and not gonna lie, it was eerie and hazy. But I did manage to find the fish pile at about 50 feet and there were fish piles sporadic throughout the whole swim as well. I see this Vecca Nono but I thought it was on the smaller side, so once again, I didn't shoot, I gave this one the pass. We pushed even farther down the coast, hugging this sandy, bouldery type of terrain, and throughout the day, it was a struggle finding the fish we wanted. 
So all we could do is keep <laughs> checking areas that we've encountered them in the past and hope that they're there today. I see this pair of juvenile Moana Kali and I'm not gonna lie, I got pretty excited for a second and almost pulled the trigger on these. <laughs> Now we're just at about the farthest zone we swam to. We swam against the current the whole way. The water was dirty. And basically, we didn't shoot any fish. I had one taco and my buddies had a couple. So when I saw this taco, I knew it wasn't the biggest. It was only about two pounds, but I definitely wanted to make the effort to go and get this taco to bring home for the wife. So the tides began to switch and so did the current. We decided to turn back and hunt our way back and this is only about 55 feet but being the second dive of the year even this step was quite the challenge for me. <laughs> Here, I finally see an Uku, he's pretty curious but not so curious to where he's dumb, but just curious enough to come in and check me out just out of range. Here he's almost in range so I lunge forward but I end up scaring him. I take a few more drops afterwards in hopes he's still around but he was just completely gone. We've made our way all the way back and I still haven't shot a fish so I decided as a last ditch effort to try and find those opel collars and bring one home for to make sashimi. But with the tide switch the school of opel collars actually went out to open water and by now I was actually very exhausted from the swim and the numerous dives that I took. And not to mention, this is only my second dive of the year. Uh, my conditioning was definitely not up to par. Now, I had cleaned the taco down at the dive spot before coming home, and I had planned to film the cooking session, which I did halfway. I got home a lot later than I normally do, around 5 to 6 p.m., set up the cameras, began filming and cooking, and by now it was 9 p.m. and I was still not done. Note, we usually have an early dinner between 5 to 6, so that left my wife pretty hangry. So I scrapped the filming and finished cooking, so this is the end result, which is taco carpaccio. All right, so by the end of it all, we had like eight or nine taco I found to the rest of my buddies found. And seeing that this was only my second dive back, my conditioning definitely wasn't up there. I took, I don't know, about two, two and a half months off. So not the longest break ever, but still enough to like lower con my conditioning. At the one spot, I tried desperately to try to get that uku, but it was only like 50, you know, 50 something feet deep. And I still struggled. Taco saved the day. One of those tacos was the same taco we made into sashimi in the last video and the rough water dive. So yeah, that was our taco-licious dive. <laughs> Anyway guys, 
Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit that notification bell so that every time I drop something, you know when I, you'll be the first to know. And see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Say bye, Mimi. Say bye. Peace.